it smells so so good These are the ingredients that I'm using. Onions, one large onion. I have red and green bell peppers, leeks, and then these tomatoes are everything. Fire roasted tomatoes. Look for fire roasted tomatoes. So good. Okay, so this is how it looks like because the tomatoes were roasted gives it such a nice taste. I'm using powdered garlic, granulated garlic, and use a fresh one. This is not beef cubes, what I have here. Just a container for black pepper. I like to grind my black pepper, so I buy the peppercorns, grind it, and then salt. I'm also going to use ginger. This juiced ginger, just, so this is the juice from ginger. I put it in the freezer, and when I need it, I put it out and and, and use, so I'm just gonna use one, one sachet. For the sauce, I'm going to season my beef with some salt, with some black pepper, that's granulated garlic. I bought this from Costco, granulated garlic. And then I'm going to mix everything so that my beef is properly seasoned. I'm going to be cooking my sauce in this huge pot right here. I call it my Cameroonian Le Corset. It is very hot and I'm going to just add the meat in there without any additional oils. This is how it's looking so far. See, I didn't add any extra oil. Fat is going to be rendered from the beef. And I'm going to use that fat to brown the beef and also cook the onions and the rest of the ingredients. This has been cooking for about two minutes. See what I was talking about? You see that oil? the oil coming out of it so you did not need to add any additional fat it's going to cook down and brown just in its own fat as cooking for weight loss cooking for weight loss is very different <laughs> you're trying to save calories wherever you can Our beef has been cooking for about five minutes now as you can see it's rendered with fat and it has browned our beef developing the flavors beautifully all right so at this point i'm just going to go ahead and add um, our vegetables that's the leeks bell pepper onions to develop the flavor even more That's the ginger juice.
then throw in the peppers whole I did not remove the little stem because I don't want it spicy I just want it flavorful my son is gonna be eating this as well he doesn't do spice so I'm gonna go ahead and taste for salt and seasoning and then just cook this down this is toasted crayfish on janga adds flavor it's my husband's secret ingredient for adding flavor to tomato sauces i toasted it so it's easy to crush and then it adds a different layer of flavor you don't need much maybe about two tablespoons and that's good Too much and it overwhelms and takes over your stew so instead of maggi this is what i will use it smells so so good oh, perfect i'm gonna remove it remove the peppers that's for me hopefully the sauce is not spicy take them out We're gonna taste the salt, adjust the seasoning. I added more of the crayfish. I'm gonna add some more black pepper. Here's my finished product. Eight portions of the beef sauce. Each one of them about 300 calories, maybe a little more, but uh, 300 calories by my estimate. So when it's time to eat, I can either just add to my spaghetti squash or cauliflower rice. There you have it.